All right, it's happening in Utah. The Mormon Church is trying to get polygamy legalized. It says here the Utah State Senate votes unanimously to decriminalize polygamy. Again, this is the corrupt fruit of of the daughters of the harlot Roman Catholicism, which Mormonism is. Mormonism is just a, uh, a daughter of Roman Catholicism. But yeah, these pro polygamy protesters and basically the Mormon Church is is basically controlling the Republican Party in Utah, and they're trying to get polygamy uh, legalized and, and and not you know a crime anymore because it, it's currently a felony in polygamy. I mean, uh, in Utah, it says here, Utah State Senate voted unanimously to decriminalize polygamy, hoping to make it an affection or an infraction in par with a parking ticket. The bill swiftly cleared the Republican-controlled Senate in the predominantly Mormon state of with, with a vote 29 to zero. Uh, with a little discussion on Tuesday, it now moves to the Utah House of Representatives where it is likely to face greater resistance. Polygamy is currently classified as a third-degree felony, punishable by up to five years in prison. If the Senate bill becomes law, punishments would be limited to fines of $750 and community service. However, fraudulent biogamy, in which an individual obtains licenses to marry more than one spouse without their knowledge or seeks to wed someone underage without their consent would remain or without her consent would remain a felony. Utah has a strong presence of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter day Satan, or that I call or they call them Latter day Saints, but I call them Latter day Satan, because the Mormon church, that's what they serve. A bunch of, of polytheistic polygamists, you know, polygamists in that church. Uh, which have an early history, or which had an early history of polygamy, while mainstream followers abandoned the practice in 1890, an estimated 30,000 people living in polygamous communities follow the teachings uh, that taking multiple wives brings exaltation in heaven. Okay, chapter and verse on that, please, because the Bible tells us that that we're not we're not we're not given in marriage in heaven. But uh, that's besides the point. What does the Bible say about marriage and polygamy? Well, I have in my notes. Uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Genesis 2, verse 24. Because God says that marriage is one man and one woman. Uh, Genesis 2, 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they uh, and they shall be one flesh. One man, one woman, one flesh. Uh, Matthew chapter... Where's my notes? Matthew chapter 5, or verse... Or Matthew, Matthew chapter 10, sorry... No, 19. Oops, my bad. I, I was misreading my notes. Matthew chapter 19, verse 5 to 6. It says, actually, I'll start at verse 4. He answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Makes a problem for the for a Christian transgenderism, you know, the Christian acceptance of, of transgenderism. God made them male and female. So transgenderism is not uh, biblical, and it's, it's certainly not not even scientific, but that's besides the point. Uh, and said for this verse five, and said for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave unto or shall cleave to his wife. Sorry, and they twine shall be one flesh. Verse six. Wherefore they are no more twine, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined us together, let no man put asunder. Yeah. So the, these two are one flesh. These twine are one flesh. That simple. Mark chapter ten. Mark chapter ten verse. 7 8. Actually, I'll start at verse 6. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. Verse 7 For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cl- and cleave to his wife. And verse 8 They twine, and they twine shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twine, but one flesh. So again, these two are one flesh. It's that simple. Uh, Ephesians 5 31. Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 31 says uh, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh again two or one flesh now what does the bible say about polygamy itself because we see what it says about marriage but what does it say about polygamy well the bible does condemn polygamy I'll show you some verses on that Leviticus chapter and you'll say well what about the old testament prophets they did polygamy um, yeah the bible records the sins of men it doesn't condone them that's what I want to point out. Uh, Lot was, after Sodom and Gomorrah, the last time we hear of Lot in, in Genesis, he's in a cave committing incest with his two daughters. Okay, does the Bible condone incest? No, it doesn't. Leviticus 20 says, if a man shall take his sister, you know, it talks, it calls it a sin, a man taking his sister. Uh, so, no, the Bible records the sins of men, but it doesn't condone them. You know, it's that simple. I mean, 
and records the sins of the people in Sodom and Gomorrah, but does it condone their sin? No. Leviticus chapter 20, verse number 14. And if a man shall take his wi- take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness, they shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. Hmm. Or, yeah, it'd be no wickedness among you. That's what it's saying. But again, a, a wife and her mother, so taking two spouses, hmm. God condemns polygamy. Interesting. Uh, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 17 says, Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter, neither shalt thou take a, her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover their nakedness, for they are near kinswoman, it is wickedness. So God says it is wickedness to basically have two spouses, because uncovering the nakedness is basically talking about, you know, getting getting in the bed, basically. So a woman and her daughter, so again, taking two spouses. So the Bible does condemn polygamy, obviously. You cannot have two spouses. The Bible is one man and one woman. That's what the Bible defines marriage as. One man and one woman, these two are one flesh. So this right here, the Mormon church is basically doing wickedness in the sight of God according to Leviticus 20 and Leviticus 18. They're doing wickedness. So I want to show you guys this. This is just kind of shocking. It shows the moral downfall of America. I mean, America is pretty wicked uh, already. I mean, bestiality is is, is, is legal in five states. Um, looking at bestiality porn is, is legal in 49 states. Uh, only one state criminalizes it. I think incest is, is legal in two states. And now polygamy might get legalized in Utah. So... Yeah, this is the corrupt fruit of Mormonism and just the moral downfall of America. So, I just want to show you guys this. This is sad news, but, you know, what do we expect? Uh, Anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.